JB Webb show. I am JB Webb, and uh, this time we have another interview with someone who's very. Uh, I love his style. I love what he's doing out there. And let me explain this to you. It is the host of WPRK's Local Heroes, uh, a radio show that resembles a late night talk show with less talk and more music, highlighting people of interest and live musical performances every week. Hosted by Daniel Pacioni, uh, George Wallace and Eileen Lieber. I think the whole thing, uh, Daniel's been there from the beginning, and that is who we actually have on the line with us. Welcome uh, to our, our humble effort here to inform people about people doing great things, uh, just like you're doing, and welcome, Daniel. How are you? Yeah, thank you for having me, JP. You're awesome. Oh, no problem, bro. I appreciate I love what you're doing. Uh, I appreciate that, and thank you. Um, you know, I really love what you're doing, and I... I, I'm curious about kind of how you got maybe how you got started into that. Um, you, you know, were you when you were younger? Did you you know have a natural curiosity or love or flair for music? Uh, the show that you have is great, especially with uh, working with the recording uh, of the live musicians and putting that out on YouTube. You have a great supplement. You have a good uh, product in that. You you know help promote talented people, which is fantastic. So, kind of maybe peel back uh, and, and give us a sense of um, a, a little bit about you and maybe what what makes the program successful and in, in maybe something that's inherent in you. Yeah. Uh, first, let me ask you: Am I a local legend in your in your description? Uh, oh. I just want to know. Oh, oh no! I was, uh, no. We got. Have you been doing this for twenty years? Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, I try to get people that have been. Uh, no, I'm just, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> you are a local hero. There you go. Yeah, that's yeah. So that's cool. Um, yeah. So when I was little, like uh, I, I don't know. Um, wait, was your question about when I was little and like growing up, or about the yeah. in general? Yeah, like when um, you know, when you were younger, did you have an idea? Oh, I want to do this, or I want to be on the radio, or uh, you know, I just want to do a show or help promote people, or I just want to get a sense of kind of where that came yeah, from. When I was yeah, of course. Uh, when I was younger, I didn't really know what I wanted to be. Uh, I collected Pokemon cards, and that's really all cool. I knew how to do, really. Um, you know, as I got older, though, um, I started maturing and, and focusing on what I really wanted to be, who I wanted to be. And, and who I really want to be, honestly, is, is just someone that helps out others, and, and that's how the show came about, really. Okay, that's awesome. So you saw a great opportunity to help um, with, uh, you know, general promotion. You thought, hey, these guys are cool. They're maybe not getting the juice, you know, that they should. It, it was you. Um, you started the show uh, with another guy. Uh, I forget, but um, you're into your third year of doing this on PRK. Is that right? Yeah, thank you so much for that history. Thank you. Uh, yes, I started the show um, about two and a half years ago. Um, here's a quick little fact. Uh, Local Heroes, the actual show at WPRK, has been around for a while. Oh. It has been around since the 90s. Um, just a couple of DJs have been taking it over um, every time someone kind of leaves station for a reason or right. leaves town, someone else kind of takes it over. So I took it over, actually. I didn't really create it. Oh, wow. Um, I, did, I did create the... Uh, I just kind of sort of extended what was already there. Yeah. Yeah. I enhanced it, but it was, it's always been there. So they kind of had a segment, maybe Local hero segment, and you kind of turned it into a whole show, it sounds like, maybe. Yeah, yeah. It was, okay. it was uh, initially, it was an hour of just local music. Okay. The whole hour of just right. local music and um, film interviews here and there. And then I sort of kind of came in and, 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 and wanted to, I wanted to just have it be something more than that, you know? Yeah. So. No, and it's great, man. I'll tell you what I love um, uh, besides, you know, the show and hearing people that I even I know are on there. 
um, that are great and talented musicians, but I love the byproduct of the show um, that you walk away. Uh, what is it? Real feel recordings that you're working with and, and they're doing the uh, videography yeah. uh, out there. So tell us a little bit about that union. Cause I see that as really just a, a great asset um, to, to what you're doing. Yeah. First, I do want to say that I can't do anything by myself. I, I just can't. It's, it's a team, team effort. I, and I honestly believe that. Uh, I don't think you can do anything by yourself. I think you need talented people around you that um, have the same passion as you. Right. Um, so, Real for Recording came in. They're a cool little local um, recording studio here in Orlando, and they wanted to um, record the last performances that we wanted to do. And then we sort of wanted videographers too, so we can kind of have a YouTube page and have right. people that maybe miss the show, right. kind of watch it again sort of thing. And, and that grew to another thing. Um, right now we have um, James T-Shirt um, um, as a videographer, Shauna Hundeby from okay. East Coast Photography, and Chad Pierce of OrlandoScene.com. And all those guys are amazingly talented. Right That's now cool. we have a solid, solid group of talented, passionate people that are just there every single week. Yeah. People don't really know that. I mean, it takes a whole team to really do what we do. Um, people just sort of watch the videos or, or hear it on the radio and think, oh, that's cool. But they don't really know that it takes a lot of yeah. uh, people to make that happen. Um, Will Snyder is actually the head audio engineer um, from Real Fear Recording, and he comes every week. Yeah. Uh, to make and master those tracks. That's why they sound so great. Yeah. So I do encourage everyone to check them out, hire them for cool things that yeah. will make you look and sound off. <laughs> yeah, no, you're you're right about that, especially about the teamwork. Um, and it does take a, a pr whole production team to put on, uh, to produce what you guys are producing. Um, so, you know, again, that's great. And I love that dynamic of it and that, that piece of it, which I guess has happened for a couple, couple of years, I guess. Um, what um what I find interesting too is that you you know you get some time you get to interview uh, the person uh, you know the individual there uh, you, you do uh, unique things uh, you, you know uh, battles with uh, other other outlets uh, in different stations so you're kind of pushing uh, what you can do I guess maybe at, at what's considered a college station what are your kind of plans for the future of uh, uh, of your career or um, you know this particular entity what are, what are your thoughts about uh, what do you kind of see on the horizon for, for that? Well, it's funny that you ask. A lot of people ask, you know, like, what what is it? Like, what is it about that station that makes it unique? What is it about your show that makes it unique? And really, I just want to push the boundaries. You know, some people think it's just a college radio station, and it is. It really is. But it's also a community station. Right. Um, for example, you have 88.5 in Tampa, which is just, a community station. So you just have community um, DJs 24 hours a day and not a lot of college involvement. Uh, here at WPRK, we have both, right. which is really cool. We have, a, we have a DJ at WPRK that has been doing, that has been a DJ for about 25 years. Who's that? And to me, that's amazing. That's yeah. incredible. You, like, he's been a DJ for 25 years. That blows my mind every single time. And it's funny because sometimes we have like, uh, well, not sometimes, but every, we have to have DJ meetings. And every time he's there, everyone claps, you know, because he is such an amazing person. Yeah. You know, he has such a passionate outlook, you know, and, and he's there every single week, you know. Yeah. So that's kind of, that's kind of what Dota Turkey is. And the way I like to explain Dota Turkey to other people is that, um, it's not just songs that you listen. When you turn it, when you turn into WPRK ninety one point five, you don't just hear songs. Right. You're actually hearing um, someone's musical soul. And the reason why I say that is because it's a live DJ. It's a person right. putting in a song, whether it's a CD or a music or a track from their laptop. It's something that they enjoy, and they're playing it. There's no right. one telling them what to do, what to play. Yeah. They're just playing songs that they want to play. So it's a free form, you know, format. And to me, that's just amazing. Well, you know? I, yeah, I agree with you wholeheartedly. You're, you're exactly right. I mean, that's, 
that you kind of touched a nerve with me there because that's you know that's what I do with my original music podcast is play original music that people yeah. send me that I like um, that I'm willing to put out there and and nobody's you know with the with the exception of uh, you know the robots uh, competing with the humans <laughs> they, it's very rare to like you say to to get somebody to give you a little piece of their a little piece of their flavor uh, you know live on the air and I love that nobody's uh, so WPRK is the actual local legend here right. <laughs> Uh, yeah. The whole well, university, it's, yeah. You know, it's funny you say that because we had the guys of 88.5 come um, as guests at WPRK. Okay. And they were yeah. celebrating the 30 years, you know, and I was like, oh, that's adorable. Isn't that cute? Turn 61. <laughs> <laughs> you know? That's funny. Yeah. Yeah, no, and that's great, man. And I, I just, uh, you know, we want to commend you for the work that you're doing. You're putting out great content. You're getting talented people in there. Um, you're keeping that light as we kind of close down our series. And I'm glad we were in communication because I want to, you know, be of assistance in any way I can. So we're kind of closing down the JB Web Show. Um, so that kind of opens yeah, it up, I, opens yeah, it up to, you know. Pass the well, torch over to you. Shutting down shop? Yeah, no, no. We're just closing out that series. We're closing out the JB Web Show series, and uh, we kind of want to pass the torch along to you. So, if there's any way we can help out, uh, let us know. And um, you know what you do is fantastic uh, for the community, uh, Daniel. So, uh, you know, I really appreciate you spending some time and chatting with us uh, on, uh, yeah, on on that's on. on a lot of pressure, JB. That's a lot of pressure, JB. I don't know if I could do that. Oh, you don't know? I'm just passing the torch over to you. <laughs> no, I know. I just, I just, that's a lot of pressure, man. Uh, you're, yeah. But I, I'll take it. I'll take it. Yeah, well, you deserve it. Yeah. Well, good. Well, man, just know that we support you. It's WPRK, Local Heroes. Uh, i got to look at how your name's spelled or else I'll say it wrong every time. Hold on. There it is. Uh, Pacioni. Okay, Daniel Pacioni. Pacioni macaroni runs with pepperoni. <laughs> I just have to look at it. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah. I get no. You're oh, yeah, okay. five o'clock, five p.m. Uh, five p.m. Eastern time Wednesdays. Uh, WPRK ninety one point five. Uh, they are on YouTube. WPRK Local Heroes is the username. Uh, they are on iTunes. Uh, they cross over to uh, uh, Tune In. I think also, and you may even be on Stitcher and somewhere else. But we encourage everybody to yeah. go go check out WPRK's Local uh, Heroes uh, with. Daniel Pacioni. Uh, I appreciate your time today, man. Thanks. Yeah, no problem. Thank you for having me. Uh, and good luck with all you have going on, JB. I'm sure you're going to do a great thing other than, you know, this series that you have. Uh, and unfortunately, it's ending, right? Yeah, yeah, but that's okay. I appreciate it. I appreciate it, man. Um, you know, I think uh, what you guys are doing over there is, is superlative uh, for people. So, you know, we we over here we got duct tape on top of our bubble gum, so um, so we'll let we'll let That's the pros kind of handle. <laughs> yeah, we're too punk rock over here. Anyway, you're a great guy, man. I appreciate your time. Uh, we want to you know throw support your way. Go check out uh, WPRK Local Heroes if you have not already. I am JB Webb. We've got about less than ten people now that we're going to interview before we close out at number one hundred. The series is over. Very bad. Go to wjbwnetworks.com for anything you want to find out about us, and we'll see you the next time. All right, sir. Hold. Are you serious? Yeah. Come on, I'm trying to promote you. Yeah. Okay, baby. Yeah.